Welcome to Hangster's Hot Rods Collector Car Showroom located in Daytona Beach, Florida. We own all of our cars in this building. Uh, generally, we try to keep 60 to 65 vehicles. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, hangsters.com. This is where you can find all of our most current inventory. Uh, we do not take our YouTube videos down. We leave them up at all times, whether they were shot a year ago, two years ago, three months ago. So if you want to find out if any, any YouTube presentation you are watching, uh, if the car is still available, please check out our website. On our website, we put not only this video you're watching right now, but we also put anywhere from 80 to 100 photographs of each vehicle. Still photographs, high resolution photographs. So pretty cool. The right car here, uh, we do well with Mustangs, uh, anywhere from 66 to 70, 65 to 70, even 64 and a half. Uh, this one happens to be a 1966. Good looking car, red in color, uh, black vinyl in. Uh, we got this car here in Florida. Uh, really good looking chrome on the front bumper. Really great driver quality paint job. Um, all the window glass in the car is in great shape. You have dual chrome mirrors. A red Mustang, right? The American muscle car. Uh, this one happens to have an inline 200 V6. We'll show you that a little bit later on in the presentation when we pop the hood. But take a look at this interior. Really nice car. Uh, door panels are in excellent condition. Uh, same thing with the vinyl uh, on the seats. There is a center console in there with two cup holders. You can see uh, looking down underneath the center of the dash, there is... Uh, I'm sorry, there are four vents there. Those vents are for AC. This car does have AC. It is a Florida car, as I had already mentioned, and it does blow ice cold. Ice, ice cold. The headliner in the car is in great shape. You have seat belts in the front, seat belts in the back, black carpeting, uh, rubber floor mats in here. Uh, the carpeting underneath the floor mats on both sides are good. Uh, no discoloration, no uh, dry rot, no fading. Uh, dash is in good shape too. You can see that more of that in still photos and later on in the uh, test drive presentation. On the deck lid you have a uh, little uh, luggage rack there. So maybe if you want to take a short trip you can throw a suitcase or two up there. I'm not really sure. Um, in the back on the hat rack, there are uh, some speakers back there. Look to be pretty nice. We'll find out again later in the presentation if those work or not, if the radio functions in the car. Taking a look in the trunk, you do have a trunk mat. There is no spare. So on our website, if you see a spare in the trunk uh, or a jack in the trunk of any kind, you'll get those with the car. If you do not see a spare or a jack, they do not come with the car. You get asked that question a lot. Is there a spare? Well, if you see a spare in the car, there is one. Uh, if you don't, there's not. Uh, looking into the trunk, it's painted the same color as the car. You can see there's no um, holes, no rust, no rot. Chrome on the rear bumper is the same as the front. It's in good shape. Got your little pony uh, gas cap there. Uh, looking down the passenger side of the car, you can see there's a, uh, and when you open and close the door, there's a tiny bit of gap there. Uh, the driver's side is much uh, straighter than the passenger side. Uh, it's an adjustment for sure. We're going to make that adjustment just a little bit. It's not bad. It's just off a little tiny bit. There is a little bit of patina here on the uh, passenger side door handle. Looking into the passenger side of the car, you can see the courtesy light does come on when you open the door. You have great door panel on the passenger side. The same with the seat, the carpeting, the floor mats. Everything in the car looks in great shape. Really does. It's really a really nice Mustang. Uh, driver quality paint job on the car. Uh, the paint's not perfect. I don't see any areas. And what I mean by not perfect is like, for example, on the hood here in the front. Okay, you can see where somebody brushed, touched right there a little bit. Um, you know, you got a little tiny chip right here out of the hood where maybe a rock or something flew up off the road and hit it. But overall on the car, there's no cracking, spider webbing, blistering, anything like that. There's no cause for concern or any areas of paint that need to be addressed on the car uh, in a body shop or anything like that. 
Taking a look under the hood, you have your inline 200 V6. Uh, again, no power steering, no power brakes, but you do have AC. And it does blow cold. This car is immaculate underneath. I've already been under it, I've already driven it. We're going to take that, uh, uh, the car out on the rack right now and show that to you guys. So we're underneath our 1966 Red Ford Mustang. The car looks as good underneath as it does on top. You're going to see drum brakes all the way around on the car. You can get a nice picture of this huge inline six oil pan. You see that both sides are nice and dry. You have a single uh, exhaust pipe leading all the way to the back of the car, uh, dumping out to a single exhaust pipe on the rear. Frame rails on the car are in excellent condition. Same thing with the floor pans. I mean, check out those floor pans. They really look nice. Uh, no seeping whatsoever, no leakage out of the tranny pan, out of the tail shaft seal, nothing. It's all completely dry. I want to tell you it's dry at this time because on these classic cars you can expect them to have a tendency to leak, especially if you're up in those northern states and they sit for four, five, six months at a time. Um, they will develop leaks. It's just something that it's a maintenance item in the classic car world, seals, gaskets, o-rings, uh, etc. Again, floor pans in excellent condition. Drum brakes in the rear, same as the front. Take a look at those drop downs behind the wheels there, behind the tires. They're in excellent condition as well. Gas tank, if it's not newer, it's in good shape for its age. Obviously, probably not original, but again, it's in, it's in excellent condition. Don't just take my word for it, come down here to Daytona Beach, visit our 25,000 square foot showroom. There's plenty to do in Daytona. There's the beach, there's a lot of shopping, a lot of restaurants on the water, tons of things to rent, from motorcycles to boats to scooters to slingshots to everything under the sun. And there's plenty of sun here in Daytona Beach. But we always encourage all of our customers to come in person and see what they're buying firsthand. We try to take 80, 90, 100 photographs of each car. We do these video presentations that are generally 15, 20 minutes in length uh, to put you as close to the car as possible. We do a lot of business sight unseen. In fact, about 90% of our business per month is sight unseen um, through pictures, videos, emails, photographs. Um, but again, we encourage all of our buyers to come in person and see exactly what they're buying. We offer financing here to Hangsters. Uh, it is through three different collector car lenders. It's not through us. We don't have our own bank, unfortunately. But when you submit the credit application to our dealership, uh, the collector car lender will contact you directly and discuss your rate, term, down payment, monthly payment, and so on. Let's take this car out. This car runs absolutely fantastic. Ice cold air, which is nice um, given today because it's hot here in Daytona. So let's drop it down on the ground and take it out on the road. Our 66 Mustang has a horn. Uh, turn signals. Driver's side. Passenger side, fuel gauge is functioning, oil, amps, and temp is slowly rising. We just started the car. Wipers, park back where they should, radio. It's a retro style old look radio and it does function. AC, hopefully you guys can hear after this dump truck passes by or whatever the heck that thing is. And when I tell you this is cold, it's cold, cold. Very nice. As I mentioned earlier, center console, two cup holders, a little storage compartment. This is not factory, it's just something somebody stuck in here, but it's kind of cool. These old cars didn't have cup holders, and I don't know how people did without them. I think we're ready for the drive. Let's check it out. The car is running out really well. Again, it's a six-cylinder, so it's not a whole lot of bustle, but the car is driving down the road nice. There's no uh, tire vibration, drivetrain vibration, any kind of noise in the uh, vehicle interior here other than obviously having the window down. Uh, it is not a power brake car but the uh, 
brakes do work well. It's got a little bit of a stiff pedal, like a uh, you know no power brake car does, but the car stops just like it should. You don't have to shove your foot to the floor. It's it's stopping as soon as you put your foot on the brake. I am going to have to send it up to the alignment shop. The steering wheel is off like 10 degrees uh, to my left, which anything over like you know. 10 degrees or more I usually have corrected. The speedometer is right on the money, right where it should be and it's not bouncing all around. As I mentioned, if you check out the temp gauge, it's up to where it should be. We're running nice and cool in our Mustang here. The car rides out really nice. These six cylinder Mustangs, uh, not only do we sell a lot of them, but they're pretty bulletproof. They just, they do what they should. They ride nice. It's just a nice weekend cruiser. Shifts through the gears just like it should. The car doesn't pull one way or the other. It's got a little bit of excess play in the steering, steering wheel as well. Again, we'll get all that tightened up at the alignment shop. I got a guy that does a real good job for me on these classic cars car offered at a very reasonable price point this will make an excellent first classic car for somebody or if somebody's been looking for a real nice Mustang um, you know a retro style radio that works AC that blows ice cold red black interior the right color combination a turnkey car that needs nothing 386-944-9219 is our phone number here in Daytona Beach Hanksters.com is our website. Today we're going to put up at least 80 photos of this vehicle, along with this video presentation you're watching right now. There'll be a link to it on our website. If you click on the car, you can see all the pictures of the car. And then if you click on the, uh, there'll be a series of uh, gray tabs at the top. Uh, you'll see a video tab. Click on the video tab, and there'll be a link to this video we're shooting for you right now. Time frame. How long does this take? Well, from the time you make the phone call and put a down payment on the car to secure it till the time the car is sitting in your driveway is generally 7 to 10 business days depending on where you're located at in the country. Our whole process is very turnkey. We have free shipping in the lower 48 United States when the car is purchased at full retail price. We also have a 12 month, 12,000 mile powertrain warranty that's good at any ASC certified facility in the United States. Again, it's when you purchase one of our vehicles at full price. Uh, you have a hundred dollar deductible the warranty company pays the remainder of the balance on a covered repair you don't have to take it to a special muscle car dealership or collector car dealership or any kind of special service center uh, you can probably take it to the same person that works on your daily driver so check out for yourself how easy it is to own one of these classic cars with hangsters hot rods by visiting hangsters.com or calling us here in daytona beach today